Hey, what's going on guys? Al Desha here, and today I want to talk about the Colorado Rockies, specifically their first couple seasons in Colorado, where they played at the old Mile High Stadium. Uh, I was around when the Rockies came to Colorado. They were part of an expansion um, in Major League Baseball with the Florida Marlins, which are now the Miami Marlins. And I've got some schedules and some tickets and things from the inaugural season I like to share with you and kind of look back at how things used to be. And these schedules that you would get like at stores and things like that, they would be free by the register. And Coors, before the Colorado Rockies were even in Colorado, Coors was a major sponsor of the team helping bring the, the Rockies to Colorado. And um, that's why Coors Field is named Coors Field. But they did play for two seasons, 93 and 94, in Mile High Stadium. And these are schedules from those times. And they have a diagram of Mile High Stadium in there, like that. And while I was doing a little bit of research for this video, I realized, and I don't think a lot of locals know, as big a sports town as Denver is, and as big as the, Bron uh, the Broncos are in Colorado, and they definitely played at Mile High Stadium in the past. I don't believe that many people, even longtime residents, know that Mile High Stadium was originally built for the Denver Bears, a minor league baseball team, in 1948. Here's some promotional items that they gave out during the season. And I haven't been to a Rockies game in quite a while. Do the people or do the Rockies even give out things like this anymore? Um, six-pack coolers and lapel pins and caps and things like that, batting helmets and beer mug night. Definitely we're pushing the uh, the beer thing with the course and all that. So, yeah, um, I found out that, like I said, the um, Mile High Stadium was originally Bear Stadium, built in 1948. The Broncos didn't come to Colorado until 1960. And the timeline's a little confusing because if you – if you look up the the uh, Denver Bears, it says they started in 1955, which predates the or the stadium predates the team by seven years. But um, if you kind of snoop around a little bit on Wikipedia, you'll understand why it's kind of a confusing timeline. And um, so yeah, these this is the sleeve for the um, for the old tickets right here from '93 in their schedule. Some of them were, were different, like here's the back of this one here, and here's the back of this schedule here, but basically the inside is the same. And definitely, uh, like I said, my life stadium was built for a baseball park um, and later reconfigured to accommodate football. And the South Stands, right there, um, if you're not familiar with the old Mile High Stadium, the south stands could be pushed in or pushed out according to a baseball or football game being played. And the way they did it, the stands um, were basically in a big tray and they would fill this tray up with water and push the, the stands back manually um, while the kind of um, floated on water back in the day. Here's another schedule with another back a different back than the other two. So yeah, that was the most interesting thing I found out about the Rockies and the um, Denver Bears, that Mile High was originally a baseball stadium. And I've, I've been here for 40 years in the Denver area, and I've never heard anybody talk about that. I think everybody here thinks that the... Um, that the Mile High was built for the Broncos. Maybe some old timers that were around back then probably know, but most everybody today um, probably thinks Mile High was for the Broncos initially. And this is from 1994, the Atlanta Braves. I had to do a little research on this game because it's been 25 years since this game. Uh, I actually got to see Tom Glavin pitch in this one. And, um, Dave Justice was on the team at the time also. Another Atlanta Braves ticket from 94. 
And I don't know, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to see the Braves twice in a row. I didn't plan on it that way. I didn't dislike the Braves. It's just that's the way it worked out. And you can see the five dollar price there on the back of the ticket. You know, large pizza for ten bucks back in the day. So I know the tickets have changed quite a bit since then. Uh, I looked them up online and the appearance of the tickets has definitely changed. Even that one's different than the other one I just had. I think I bought these. Oh no, they're the same. My bad. And here's a magnet um, schedule with the inaugural year right there. And the biggest change you can see like like right there, Florida, which are now the Miami Marlins. So yeah, I just wanted to go over that. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with the Rockies and their inaugural season, where they played two seasons at Mile High, um, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of talk about that a little bit. And um, if you were at a, happened to be at a Mile High game, at the old stadium it was all metal, and they would have the rallies, and everybody would stomp their feet. And if you were up in a higher section. And that place would just be shaking and rocking. And it definitely happened during football games also. So, yeah, that's it. That's the, um, the Colorado Rockies and their, um, their first couple years, a little bit of history about that and some tickets and some schedules and things like that. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.